Good evening. I apologize for the temporary broadcasting interruptions. I won't, and I can't go onto YouTube. Miss Miana, oh gosh. Ah, I'm not very good at technology, so I'm just going to go back to what I know, and that's Facebook. So hello, I'm so glad if you can all join me here. I do plan on taking this broadcast and putting it on to YouTube, so we'll just go from there. Who cares? Because I want to cook, I want to eat, I want to have fun. So come with me, come join me, all of you, bring your friends, whoever, whatever, let's just get some cooking. I am Miss Manners, and welcome to Miss Manners Cookery. And for this evening, I thought, hmm, what would be the most fun thing to cook for the first show? And I thought, potato skin nachos. That's right, you heard me, potato skin nachos. Oh, I love them. They're so delicious. So we're also going to learn how to cook that this evening. And what else I also thought would be fun to make is blueberry waffle ice cream tacos. You heard that right, ice cream tacos. Oh, it's going to be so delicious. You just have no idea how much fun we're going to have. We may or may not get messy, I don't know, but I do know that we're going to get cooking. So let's get started. And good evening to anybody who's joined me. I love you all, and I'm going to show you how to feed yourself because we have to stop going into that magic window we call a drive through We've got to stop ordering all them foods to come through that door because we're going to learn how to take care of ourselves because self-care is the most important. All right, let's see. Where shall we begin? Oh, I know. The first thing to learn how to make potato skin nachos is you got to get the potatoes. So for the magic of television, I kind of speed up a bit of the steps. So I have a potato here and we're going to cook this potato, but first we got to cut it. You have to wash your spuds because if you don't wash your taters, boys and girls, you're going to get the dirty the, the dirt in your mouth. Ooh, that doesn't make for a good tasted potato. So, in order to cut the potato, we're going to need a knife. Let me see what I got in my little magical kit here. Oh, first of all, I need to get my apron on. How are you all doing? Welcome. We're going to be cooking tonight with Miss Manna. I love to see your faces here. Good evening, good evening. So, this man has always has to put her apron on in order for her to cook because I sure do like making messes in the kitchen. Well, what fun is the cooking if you don't make a mess? So you have to have your aprons on. This is important because cleanliness is next to godliness is what I've always been told. So we do have our potato here. And I am going to show you how to cut it for our potato skin nachos. That's right. You heard me. Potato skin nachos. Let's see. We have a knife here I know. Oh, yeah. Where is it? Let's see here. Oh. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I got so many to choose from. Oh, gosh. Is there any more Honda oh, that to be it? Let's see here. What shall we use? Hmm. I like this one. Let's partake in cutting the potato with that wonderful knife right there. And you always have to have safety by covering your knives, boys and girls. Wink, wink. We know where that one's going. So, and this is live television, so if I lose a finger, oh, it's going to be even more exciting. All right. So for the important step of potato skin nachos is you take a potato and you slice it all the way down and you half it up like that. 
You see that? That's how you do it. And you take these. What else do we got under here? Oh, I know I got something. Oh, I know I got something in here. All right, so you take that, and when before you put it in the oven, you take the oil and you slime it all up with the oil and put salt and pepper or whatever you like, and you put it in there, and you set it on that, and you go and you put it in the oven like that. But we're not going to do that right now because we got the magic of television. Plus, I like those potatoes. I might use those for something later. I don't even know where to put it. We're going to set it over there. This is my first cooking show, so I don't know what's going to happen, but we'll find out. That's the fun part of everything. All right, let's see. Oh, and if you hear any chirping in the background, that happens to be my little bird friends. I got chickens. That's right. I got chickens. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Oh, I think you think I would know where everything is at by now, but I certainly don't. So we take the potato and we cut it in half. Did I get rid of my potatoes? I sure did. I don't know what I'm doing. So after you have the potato and you put it in the oven, then you cook it for 40 minutes. 40 minutes. And make sure it's soft. Once your potatoes are soft, then you know you're done. Hey, hey, wink, wink. So, by the magic of television, after you cook them for 40 minutes, they'll come out and you just scoop out the insides. Just like that. Isn't that fun? Also, while my potatoes were cooking in the oven, magic of television, I had made sure I browned me some hamburger meat and made sure it tasted like where I put little taco seasonings and things like that in there. Oh, yum, I'm so hungry. So, after you brown your meat, oh, I don't know what you do with your meat, but I brown mine. You take the potato, and after you've cooked it, you scoop out the insides. Now, that's for another show on what to do about the insides. But you take the meat like this, and you put that meat in there, all right? Mm-hmm, because, you know, we stir that and get it all nice and yummy. I hope I'm making you guys hungry because it smells good in here. And as we uh, are sitting there browning our meat and having a good time, and you know, maybe drinking a little beer or here or there. Well, it didn't say that, but uh, whatever you do. Then you take like this and you put the meat into the taco, just like that. Well, that's not a taco. What am I talking about? That's a potato skin. That's for our potato skin nachos. After you've done that with as many as you want, you take these. Oh, you take that. And what we're going to do next is we're going to shred us up some cheese. Oh, yeah. So you want to really get in there. And you want to really grind your cheese on the cheese grinder or whatever this is called. I don't know the names of these things. Don't ask me. I just know what I'm doing. I maybe don't, but I do. I don't know. So you take this and you grind up your cheese. And you do this. And then you sprinkle it all over that as much as you like, a little or a lot. I don't care. I don't judge. And I ain't looking. I ain't going to tell nobody either. Now I'll set this over to the side with our cheese. And then you take this with all of our yummy cheese and meat inside our nacho potato skins. That's right. That's what you had. Nacho potato skins. And we take it and we put it back in the oven after we cook them before for 40 minutes. And by the power of magic and television, we have these lovely things to enjoy. Mmm, yum. Doesn't it look delicious? Oh, I just, I just love you all. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry, you're all still there, okay. So, after we have put our potatoes back in the oven to warm the cheese up, look at those. Those and those look lovely. Mmm, they smell so good, too. After we do that, we're going to put that right up there for you to look at. 
So don't worry, folks. I got more fun here to do. We're going to have to chop up our tomato. And we've got some green onion for our nacho potato skins because nachos got to have chopped potatoes. And some green onion. Oh, oh, I like to have avocado sliced on it too. And let's see, I know I got something really. Oh, yes. Salsa. Oh, yes, you can't forget the salsa. I like fresh tomato, a little salsa, and avocado. But let's start cutting here, shall we? So important thing when you're cutting on a tomato is you make sure you wash all your vegetables and get all the dirt off. We did that with our potatoes. Now we're going to – I had washed it before the show. Don't worry, they're clean. You know, cleanliness is next to godliness. And so we take the potatoes. That's not a potato. Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about, I swear. But I really do. I don't know. So we take our tomato and we go ahead and we slice it. Now, I like to slice my tomatoes like this, everybody, because well, that's just what I do. But we're going to take our little handy dandy knife. I bet y'all think I'm going to lose a finger. Oh, I got to this. You got to keep your eyes on me. All right. So first, you start slicing your tomato. And you can slice it however you like it. I like mine a certain, you know, dimension or whatever, you know. And I like, I always keep your eyes on, on the, the, the knives when you're cutting. But there, isn't that, mm, isn't that tomato beautiful? Mmm. Mmm, it tastes just as good as it looks, too, boys and girls. Mmm, yum. So we take our tomatoes here, and we slice and dice. And, uh, you know, because we're going to sprinkle this on the top of our potato skin nachos. Oh, you stay tuned, boys and girls, because i got a lot of good stuff here. I'm going to blow your mind with all this wonderful concoctions I've made. All right, so be, please be careful when you're cutting your tomatoes because you don't want to lose a finger. That wouldn't be good. And I got a bowl to put that in. Where is it? Oh, right here. Isn't that lovely? I'm so smart. Thank you, me. Oh, you're welcome. And you take a bowl and you put your little chopped up tomatoes in here. You know, however you like it. I'm not judging you. Whether you chop it large or small, hey, it's your preference. So we take our tomatoes and we put them in a bowl. We'll put that right there. I'll put that under there. This is a live TV show here, folks. So, you know, just bear with me because, you know, I'm, I'm going along just like with you all here. It's kind of fun and surprising for myself. And I also like... To have a little green onion, I like to take that first bit of top off. Some people are like, oh, goodness, don't waste a thing. But, you know, I'm just going to set this over here because I just need it out of my way. And we take these green onions here or chives or whatever you call them. Make sure you pay attention when you're using your knives. Safety is very important in the kitchen. That I can't express any more. So we're going to make ourselves a little chives. Who doesn't want to have in here in the cutting, cutting, cutting? We can make this as big as small. Oh, I almost lost a finger there. All right, we cut this all large and small. Hello, everybody who's joining me. We're making potato skin nachos. It's going to be divine. It's going to be like a party in your mouth. And for dessert, you see, stay tuned. I'm going to whip up a batch of blueberry waffles and turn them into ice cream tacos. I'm that crazy. So just bear with me here because we're going to have a lot of good fun. I don't know if you can see it here or not. I'm running out of space to set it over here. But I got the, the green onions. Did you see that? Still got all my fingers. We're going to take this and I'm just going to slide it on up here. But you didn't know I was so skilled, did you? 
I'm so full of surprises. I'm so glad if you joined me. I really love you all. This is why I'm cooking. I'm cooking for you all. And I wish I could feed you all this because it's so wonderful. I'm going to place this over here, out of my way. And here, there's our green onions. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I think, oh, no, I'm going to I'm going to cut my avocado first. You always got to have a ripe avocado because that's the way it's the most delicious. Now, to do an avocado, let me move this out of the way. Oh, I've got more room. All right. Welcome. I'm so glad you can join me in my kitchen. This is so fun. This is so fun. Sunday is always prep day in this man's house. And, you know, I try to get all my meals set up for the week. So that way I could just come in and just pull it right out of the refrigerator and, and microwave it or throw it in the oven because who's got time in the week to do all that? Now, for your avocado, you take it and you slice down to they have a large seed in the middle or, or pit or whatever you want to call it. And you just slice that around there and you take it and you turn it. Slice that up, and then you just twist it, and there you have your opened avocado. Now, if you want to be really fancy, you take it and pull it out like that. I'm just going to set it over here. Be careful with your knife. Now we have our avocado in here. I'm going to get a different knife. I like to use a butter knife. You can more than just butter your bread, boys and girls. You take your avocado and your little butter knife, and you just slice down to the skin, just like that. So easy. And you just slice it, like I did right there, and it'll pop right out of the skin if it's ripe enough. There we go. Pull that out of the way. Ooh, yummy. It's all slimy and messy. Who doesn't love getting dirty in the kitchen? There. And I emptied it out. Mmm, so delicious. Oh, goodness. Let's go over here and get some of this stuff because we're going to dress up. I always love dressing up. As you can see, Miss Man is. She loves, she levels up the game on so many levels. I don't know what to tell you. But what we're going to do here is we got our avocado sliced. And we're going to take, let's get a spoon right here. I hope you all are enjoying yourselves because I can promise you it smells so lovely in here. And we're going to put a little salsa on that. Like that. Maybe a little tomato like that. Avocado slice. Mmm, delicious. And then we're going to sprinkle a little green onion on that. Oh, doesn't that look lovely? Ooh, yum. Now, some people like to put the white sour cream on that, but I'm not too much a fan. But I do love a little salt. So I'm going to put a little salt on that. Mmm, yummy. And then you just take it and you shove it in your mouth and you enjoy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's so good. It's like a party in my mouth. Mmm, mmm, yum, yum, yum. I made a mess. Mm. Oh my goodness. All right. And that, boys and girls, is how you make the potato skin nachos you see you just dress it up you make the potato skin cheese and meat just like you do regular taco or nachos and then you scoop out the potato skin and you just uh, put all your, your lovely toppings on the top i can promise you every time it's just so good oh goodness it's so good so i'm going to move all my stuff out of the way here quickly because this is a live television show hello Hello to you all. Again, let's get a picture of this. Mmm, that's right. Yum, yum, yum. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. 
Oh, it's so delicious. We're going to put that right over there. Oh, my gosh. I got everything everywhere all over me. This is why I wear an apron. All right. Let's clean up on this a bit. We got a salsa and everything. I put all my fun stuff over here. If you get yourself a large enough cooking, or cooking board, oh, goodness. If you get yourself a large enough cutting board, you can place it over your sink. And then you got extra space to work on. It's wonderful. So wonderful. One of my little pro tips. And here's all of the avocado. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. It's one of my favorite foods. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. I'm sorry if I'm making you hungry. It's a cooking show, though, boys and girls. All right. What we're going to move on to next. I do believe what we're going to move. Oh, I got the mess all over the can. Oh, look, I'm just grabbing paper towel because it's important to stay clean as you go. That, that right there is the most important thing I could express to you all when you're cooking. Clean up after yourself as you go along because then you don't have to clean up when you're done. I promise you, it's absolutely worth it. Let's see here. Oh, we're going to make ourselves waffle, not the waffle nachos. I'm not got nachos on the brain. Let's see here. We're going to move this here. And here we got our nice handy dandy waffle maker. I don't ask, I don't say any particular brand because they're all wonderful. But I do know we are going to have ourselves a lot of fun making these waffles. I got all the ingredients here. We got the water that we'll need. This is this is the, the oil that I put in it. I'll get all my little gadgets out here. Let's see what else we got. Oh yeah, here we got our flour, our uh, our blueberry mix. What else we got here? Hmm. I do believe that's it. Fantastic. Now you take your bowl. I'm gonna need to get me a whisker. Not whiskers, a whisker. This right here. This will help you out. Like that. Okay. So you get your ingredients, and you, you do what you gotta do. You follow the directions, or however grandma, grandmama, whoever taught you how to do it, and you put it in there. And. My Lord, oh, I saw. Oh, see, this is why I wear an apron. I got it all over me, but that's all right. That's all right. Put that in there. Oh, oh, it's all over. What are you gonna do? That's sometimes the fun of the uh, of cooking. Unfortunately, ah, uh, it's all over. Oh well, we'll just keep moving on. Oh, wait a minute, I just. Do I need to get an egg or anything? No, I didn't. Okay. So we take the little, for my recipe, it calls two cups of the, the, the mix of the pancake or whatever mix. I use the box because I'm not skilled like that. And you put into two tablespoons of your oil. I'll set that over there. And then I had already pre-measured the water. So like I said, just follow your recipe, boys and girls. That's all you got to do is follow the recipe. And I put, the, we'll put that water in there. And this is where the magic happens. You got to get in there and you got to stir it all up. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. Doesn't that sound great? Here, y'all, look at this. You can take a look at that. So it says, you know, when you're doing waffles, you got to mix it up until you ain't got it all lumpy. <laughs> lumpy is just not the thing to do when you're doing your waffles. Because we're making the waffles, the blueberry waffles, that's going to be our, what are we going to put our ice cream in for our, our tacos? Yes, that's right. That's what I said, boys and girls. For our tacos. They're our dessert tacos. Oh, yeah. I don't think you guys even know just how fun this is going to be for our dessert. 
So you take your little handy dandy waffle maker. You all can see this here. And I'm going to put that in there. Ooh, that sounds lovely. Put as much as you like on there. Kind of spread it all around and close the top. And that's going to take, I like my waffles a little darker, a little crunchier, because we're going to make them as, as, um, as the tacos, the outside for the tacos. And so as we sit there and wait for our waffles to be made, I'm going to go and figure out what I'm going to do next. Oh, I made such a mess in this kitchen. Goodness, goodness, goodness. I don't know what I got in my today oh goodness uh oh it's coming out the side but that's okay because it'll just make it more yummy i'm gonna put this here now the kind of ice cream that miss manna's prefers because miss manna's on a budget so we got budget ice cream let me get it out of the freezer i love ice cream so much I just went ahead and made sure I got me a big old bucket of it, boys and girls. Because more ice cream, so that's up. Who knows what you can use it for later? So we're gonna we're gonna get in there. Oh, it doesn't want to come out. Oh goodness. Ugh. Ugh. Oh. Ah. oh, finally, I got it off. <laughs> Take it as you like. Put that over there. And I got a plate for our waffles as it's coming out there. All right. Oh, wait, I don't want that one. I'm a big cookie boy and girl. I like my own. I love the, you know, just the little classic white. You got to be fancy. I'm being fancy for all of you. So as we're sitting here waiting for our waffle, it's oozing out of there. It's going to be so delicious. I got it set so that it makes it a nice, dark, thick waffle. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna make blueberry waffle tacos, ice cream tacos for you. That's right, you heard right. And let's see, I know I got me, oh, there we are. I got me my ice cream scoop. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna hopefully be able to get the ice cream out of there. So, as we're sitting here waiting for our little uh, our little waffles to cook, yeah, it's not ready yet. As we're sitting there waiting for that, I want to go back over on our little lovely uh, potato skin nachos for those of you who had just tuned in, because this is a live broadcast. We are cooking live here, and I got all my fingers and toes still, boys and girls. I don't cook with my toes, but I'm like semi. Well, anyway, anyway, for our lovely potato skin nachos, this is the finished product. You got your tomato and your avocado, and, and you just take the potato, and you, you cook it for 40 minutes. You slice it in half, cook it for 40 minutes. You scoop it out. Another show, I'll tell you what to do with that scoop part. It's pretty interesting. But you scoop it out. You brown your taco meat, you put it on there, you put your cheese on top and you pop it back in the oven and they come out as beautiful like this. Isn't that delicious? Good, just like this too. Mmm, divine. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. Right now we're waiting for our waffles to cook because I'm making blueberry waffle tacos, ice cream tacos. And, uh, but yeah. We had already covered, if you missed the first half of the broadcast, on how to make the nacho potato skins. Just absolute heaven. Oh. And as we're sitting here waiting for our waffles, our blueberry waffles, I just made those. I whipped them on up to do, you know, so that we can have ourselves fresh waffles. That's what makes the magic here, boys and girls. Is the reason that I'm making all of this the way I am is so that, you know, the most important ingredient of this all that I hope you all realize is love. 
you got to make everything with love. That's the, what makes everything taste so good. Ooh, it looks like our waffles are just about done. I'm going to get myself a fork here. I'm out of my little dish thing here that I have. Oh, I got blue. I got, I got flour all over me. I made such a mess. All right. So we're going to take our blueberry waffle that we just made almost from scratch. This man isn't that skilled. I don't, I'm not a, I'm not a, a, a chef or anything. I'm just a cook. So we got our blueberry waffle that we just pulled out of the waffle maker and it's all hot and fresh. Mmm, and it smells as good as it looks. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. We're going to take our ice cream and we're going to get a little crazy here. Oh, yeah. We're going to get real crazy with this. This is Miss Mana's on a budget ice cream. I love ice cream so much, so I get a lot of it. Who's judging though, right? And we get this and we scoop it as much as we like and we're going to put that on our waffle. Yeah. Isn't that lovely? Oh, I know you're hungry. Hold on. There's more. Where did I put that at? Oh, goodness. I don't know where I put that all at. Oh, great googly moogly. Where the heck did it go? Oh, I thought I had my strawberry jam. Where did I put it? Oh, here it is. Oh, right in front of my face. All right. And we get our jam. Whatever you like, strawberry jam, strawberry preserves. Who's, who's looking? But the point is, is that we're making ice cream tacos. So this is like our salsa that you would put on a regular taco. But it's just the strawberry to look like the salsa. And then you take that, and you put that in there like that, set that down. I'll move this to the side. I hope you all are enjoying this, because I know I sure am. Oh, I love cooking for you all. Now here, we have our blueberry taco, blueberry waffle taco, ready to become a taco. This is where I'm going to mess with your heads. Look at right here, folks. You take that waffle. Let's cut that in half so we can see how good it looks in the middle. I know I got another knife. Oh, I do. I got another knife to use. Oh, I love knives. So you take your your taco, your blueberry waffle taco, and you fold that ice cream in there with some little strawberry jelly because, you know, it's kind of fun. It looks like goose kind of like salsa, right? And there's your ice cream and your taco. Mmm. Mmm, so scrumptious. Oh, my God. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I can't even begin to tell you how delicious it is. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm glad. Oh, where's my manners? I miss manners. Are you tuning in to watch me make waffle tacos? That's right. Blueberry waffle tacos, ice cream tacos. We got jelly inside. We got the ice cream inside. We got the fresh waffle in here. We made it all. And it's so fun. Oh my God, for soca. Oh my God. I don't know what to do, but it's just so delicious. Mmm. Oh, Miss Man has lost her manners. I did not say. Hmm, excuse me a minute. Oh. Mmm. Oh my gosh. That is so, so good. It's so fun, and it makes you so happy. Hmm. So, I made today the waffles. You know what? We want to watch another waffle. Let's do one more waffle. Why not? Why not? We got a little waffle mix because I don't know if you just tuned in, but these waffle tacos, they're worth totally making another. That's a freaking lovely, boys and girls. So, where we go, we put all the batter down on there. Oh, look at that dripping it. 
and gooing all over in there. Let's put a little more in there. Cause you know, we want a, we want a really big taco, a really big taco, waffle taco. Bet you all are like, what is she talking about? I talk about a lot of things. Mm. So we sit there and we cook the waffle with the blueberry. You pull it out. You put the ice cream in. Mm. 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 Oh. oh my God. Oh, I wish you could smell this too. It's heaven. It's so much fun. Mm. Yeah. So, I hope you all learned something today from me. Is that Miss Mana loves to get in the kitchen and to cook? Yeah, I'm sorry, I made I made a mess all over me. But who, if you don't make a mess, you're not having fun. But anyway, anywho, today we made the the nacho potato skin. Mmm. 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 If you noticed my thing here, for the dinner, we have the nacho potato skins. And then we have for dessert, the ice cream tacos. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know what to do with myself. Oh, my goodness. I hope you all are enjoying all of this. This is my first ever cooking show, and I was supposed to go on YouTube. But for some reason, I couldn't figure it out, all the newfangled technology. So I'm hoping that next week I get to go on live from YouTube. So if you're all confused on this, I apologize. But at least we got our nacho potato skins and our ice cream tacos made this evening, whether it's here or there or anywhere. Excuse me, my mouth is full. Oh my God, it's just so good. It's like a party in my mouth. And I invite you all. Oh, wait a minute. That didn't make any sense. But anywho, anywho, just keep an eye out. And every week, I'm going to come with all kinds of new crazy recipes that are going to titillate and tantalize the taste buds and just, and you, and you have fun making them. And every Sunday, you can join me for sure and figure out with the meal prepping. Oh my gosh, excuse me. It's so good. Sunday, I always do meal prepping. And now I got a lovely set of nacho potato skins to enjoy for the week. I just pull them out of the refrigerator and plop it in the microwave or put it right in the oven. And I got instant dinner. I don't know what calories they are or how much it's going to put on your butt after you eat them, but I do know that your mouth's going to enjoy every bite. So, oh my gosh, I need another one. Mm. Oh. oh, it's almost done. That's going to be another good one, boys and girls. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so I'm probably going to get off here. Mm, I'm finished. I'm finished my taco, nachos, and, and all the all the fun stuff. And, you know, I hope you enjoy this. And I'll see you next week. 